Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could sit down and have a little chat and answer some true or false assumptions because since I started YouTube again in, what was it, March 4th I think I started, um, to now we have like over 170 new subscribers, sub what? Subscribers? sorry, um, which is crazy. So I thought we could do a little true or false assumptions so you can get to know me a little bit better. Um, and also I'm just in the mood to like sit down and have a chat. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the first assumption is you were in the popular group in school. Absolutely not. Um, couldn't be further from the truth. I moved high schools um, and house for the first time ever in my life um when i was in year eight so halfway through year eight i moved to a brand new high school which was very challenging to say the least um and i started getting bullied straight away and that didn't stop until i went i started sixth form college at that school um so that was year eight year nine ten eleven and then when i was in year 12 it kind of stopped um but yeah i was most definitely not in the popular group at school and uh, no offense but i genuinely couldn't think of anything worse you've had a plastic slash cosmetic surgery no i've never had anything like that um i my insecurity is like my nose i think um so if i was going to get anything done it would be my nose but I'm absolutely petrified of needles and surgery, so I will never get it done. Um, but I think if it didn't hurt, I'd probably get my nose done. But, but no, I haven't ever had anything done and I never plan to. Your current boyfriend is the only boyfriend you've had. Um, no, um, I had, I would say probably like one serious relationship before Reese. Um, however, not as serious in hindsight it's not as serious as the one i'm in now so no reese isn't the only boyfriend i've had i have had i'd say one boyfriend before reese you have a small family i definitely don't have a small family i have seven brothers and sisters and nine nieces and nephews um i don't even know how many cousins i have um and yeah we have quite a big family so most definitely not a small one and your family are rich most definitely not, no, absolutely not. Um, I grew up on a council estate um, with a single mom, um, still have a single mom. Like, no, absolutely, we were definitely not rich, no. You got good grades at school. Um, yeah, I did actually. I was a SWAT in school, like I said before, like I literally spent every single lunch time um, on my own in the music department, like teaching myself um, how to play instruments. That's literally how I taught myself to play guitar and piano. Um, and I worked really hard at school because I had a lot of time because I didn't have friends. Um, I had a lot of time to sit there and do work. But yeah, I did work really hard at school and in college as well to obviously get the A-levels and obviously I got the A-levels to go to university. So yes, I did get good grades at school, but I'm not like naturally clever. I did work really hard for them, especially at maths. Oh my goodness, I'm horrendous at maths. You're an easy person to talk to. I would like to think so, yes. Um, I I think I am just because I've had, um, obviously, like I say, I have a huge family. I kind of have experience of speaking to people of all ages um, and all different life experiences. I grew up in church. Um, well from the age of 13 to 18 I went to church so I have like I spoke to a lot of people from different backgrounds and experiences then um, and obviously growing up in a big family I kind of I know how to talk to a lot of different people so I think I'm pretty easy to talk to. You and Reese argue a lot we actually really don't. We actually don't argue at all it's li literally just like um little like niggly bits when like Reese just doesn't listen um so I will ask him to do something and he will just completely forget he has no memory of anything um oh my shoulder do you hear that click it's like there's nothing really to argue about except from the fact that reese doesn't really listen um and that's it <laughs> like it'll just be a little thing of like reese i asked you to do that and he's like oh sorry i'll do it in a minute I'm like okay yeah we don't we, re we really don't argue i think people think we argue a lot more than we actually do i think like like anybody like any couple and um, we went through a really hard time 
um, like just dealing with like life problems um, in our last place um, and like, like we'd only been together like how long we've we been together two years a little bit less than two years um, when we moved into our last place um, Reese had never lived on his own before and we moved into a place together and it was it was really hard so we argued a lot then um but just about like life situation financial troubles and all that stuff like it was really hard um but now we just we, we don't argue like we've actually got nothing to argue about so we're all good you're a good friend i i like to think i'm a good friend and um, you'll have to ask my friends um I'm an honest friend and uh, I'm not one of the people, I'm not a yes man. People have too many yes men around them. Like me and Reese always say, everybody has yes men around them. People who will tell them, yeah, do it. Like with no care in the world. Um, I'm that friend who is just brutally honest and everybody says they want a friend like this until they have a friend like this. Um, so yeah, I'm a good friend, but if you, don't want to know the truth then I'm not a good friend if that makes sense because you're going to come to me for advice and I'm going to tell you what you don't want to hear. I'm the friend that I would want and I think that is what's important like I will would want a friend who is as brutally honest as I am because I like I want somebody who's going to be honest with me and not just lie to me and tell me yes just because it's easy and they want and they don't want drama like I mean, I don't want drama, but I'm just like, listen, I'm going to say how it is. If you don't like it, don't ask me. But yeah, overall, I would say I'm a good friend. I'm a supportive friend. I'm there for you no matter what. If you need me at three o'clock in the morning, I'm there at three o'clock in the morning. You want to be married and have kids in the next three years. And the next one says, you don't mind what order you have kids or marriage in. Um, no, I do actually. I want to be married before I have kids. Um, and do I want to be married and have kids in the next three years? Um, definitely not kids. Um, how old will I be? I'm 22 now, so three, four, five, 25. I would happily get married at 25, like around that time. I want to be engaged for like at least a year before I get married. Um, I'm trying to like plan it in my head, like it's not already planned. Um, yeah, I want to be engaged for like at least a year um, before we get married and then I want to be married quite a number of years before we have kids so I just wanted to be me and Reese for a while um however I'm not ready to get engaged just yet so in like a year and a half two years engaged and then married and then kids a few years after that um so yeah not in the next three years then again in the next three years I'd be 25 in three years and I would want to be married at 25 so yeah married but not kids that makes sense yeah it all makes sense in my head let's just hope that um that reese knows what i mean you want more than one child i do i i want three i'd have four um four is like max for me um but i want more than two so three or four um reese is like maximum two um reese is from a family of he's got like two siblings i have seven so you know there's a little bit of a difference there um because i've been brought up in a big family trust me it's not easy sometimes but um i like having like a lot of brothers and sisters um so i want three or four reese wants two your real name is lucy ann it's actually not um ann is my middle name it's my name my real name is lucy ann taylor um however i just dropped the tailor um so my youtube name is lucianne you get along with people really easily um i will get along with you like because like i said i get along like i can speak to people easily so i will get along with you easily however i i don't have like a lot of close friends if that makes sense and um, i like to keep my circle small so if you're very very special then I will get along with you and you'll be like best mates. However, most people are, are just not. Uh, but I, I think I do get along with people quite easily. You've got a lot of friends. Um, no, 
so I have a best friend Lizzie you've met her um, and then I have the quiz lot that you will hear me refer to um, which are the group of people that I met at uni um, so me and Lizzie were in our first year and we met the quiz lot um, and they were in their last year of uni so they actually all left straight away like when like when our first year was over they all left um, and moved literally all across the England well some of the does Sam even live in England I don't even think it's classed as England no I don't think it is um, so people literally just up and left but yeah I have the quiz lot and that is like my only group of friends how many of us is there six including Reese at seven, but Reese really isn't involved. Um, so yeah, I have like six friends that if I knew I needed somebody, I know I could go to any one of them, um, but I have one best friend and that's Liz. You wish you still lived at home with your parents. I moved out when I was 14, went to my own and granddad's, came back when I was 18 and then left again when I was 18 um, to go to uni. So ever since I've kind of been 18, I've lived on my own. Um, so I was at uni for three years, three years, three years, um, and then moved in with Reese, and then we've moved in to another place here. Yeah, that's false. I am too independent for my own good. I kind of don't work um, living with anybody. Um, obviously I live with Reese. that's like a different ball game. Um, but yeah, I'm, indep I'm too independent. Um, so I like to have my own space. I like to be able to think, keep things how I want to keep them. Um, be in charge of my own stuff um, and I'm, if I do say so myself I'm quite good at keeping like my life balanced um, so I can kind of keep on track of everything and have been able to do that from such a young age that I absolutely love living on my own again I'm not living on my own I live with Reese. however I mean like away from parents I think my camera just moved so I hope that still looks okay but yes, that is it for today's video. I just wanted it to be super chill um, and just get to know me a little bit better because there is so many more of you, um, which I am so grateful about. So thank you very much if you have subscribed and you're new. Then thank you very much for subscribing and carrying on watching my videos. But yes, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you're all having a lovely week wherever you are in your week, whenever you're watching this. I hope you're having a lovely day. I love you all lots and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye guys.